This is an example of how Alamo works with simulators in addition to pre-existing data sets and measurements. To begin, let's open up Alamo and import one of the examples that comes with the Alamo software package. For this example, we'll open up example 3. As you will see, we have one input variable x, one output variable z, and 17 measurements, that is 17 data points. We'll proceed to plot these data points, which will allow us to see what z looks like in comparison to the independent variable x. We can also do a histogram for x, which will allow us to make sure that we have a nice distribution of measurements in the domain of interest. When we click the Run button, you see that we have options here in terms of the basis functions to include and the number of iterations. We also have the name of our simulator listed there as e3.exe. Alamo will take the pre-existing data set and then call the simulator to collect more measurements as needed. In this example, we'll go through up to 10 rounds of calling the simulator. Then, we'll continue to run Alamo. And since this is a small example, Alamo runs very quickly. The log shows that some of the functions are discarded because they cannot be evaluated everywhere in the domain of interest. Alamo goes through just two iterations for this problem because it discerns that the model it obtained in the first iteration is accurate. After sampling the second iteration, Alamo realizes there's no need for more samples. The particular function that it comes up with is the sum of an exponential and a square for this particular data set, which is perfect for this data set. We can then proceed to plot the results in terms of the parity plot. As you can see, everything is along the diagonal. Therefore, we have a perfect model. And when we look at the scatter plot, we see that the measurements and predictions are in perfect agreement. We are now finished with example 3.